How's it going everyone? We have yet another exciting Stellar Blade update and this is actually something and a potential that I've been talking about for quite a while while I've been talking about Stellar Blade as far as this game potentially being successful and sensing the metrics and sensing how people are responding to this game i have a feeling that it's gonna be received fairly well now the only thing i have my reservations about as far as how well this game is gonna do commercially is the fact that it's only on playstation 5 i've talked about it in previous videos but a lot of the recent new ips coming from unknown studios at 70 dollars They've been multi-platform games, and they've still had a hard time. I'm looking at you, Immortals of Vam, Callisto Protocol. You can look at a Forspoken as well. Forspoken uh, was released on PC, even though PlayStation had a timed exclusivity agreement, or just an exclusivity agreement in general, because that game hasn't come out on other platforms. Uh, in the case of Stellar Blade, this is a PlayStation published game, so obviously PlayStation has a direct financial influence on it, so they know going into it, hey, we are releasing this game on just one platform, much like Rise of the Ronin was just released on one platform. So that is the only element I have a question about. Rise of the Ronin also had the element of it was a Team Ninja title. Team Ninja is at least somewhat well known and Neo is relatively popular. In the case of Stellar Blade, it's coming from Shift Up. They aren't that well known. It's a console, it's a direct exclusive for now. And uh, we'll see how it does, but if there is demand, the director of Stellar Blade has suggested there could potentially be a sequel for the game. As noted on GamesRadar in a new interview with Famitsu, Stellar Blade director and Shift Up Studio CEO Hyung Tae Kim spoke about a potential follow-up to the upcoming game and when the interview asked about whether we'd discover the ages of protagonist Eve and her allies in Stellar Blade, Kim joked that the sequel might potentially answer the question. Kim also spoke to anyone that was curious about the Ages of Eve and company in general, saying that if they were curious, they should play Stellar Blade because then there's a bigger chance of the game getting a sequel and the question of age actually being answered. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but I think Sony is very well aware. I think Shift Up is very well aware that if Stellar Blade does well commercially, they would be foolish not to expand the franchise in terms of Eve as a character that you can expand her story. Because to put it in the, I guess, politically correct way so my ass doesn't get demonetized here on YouTube, uh, Eve is a very marketable character. Let's just say that. I feel like that is such a more pleasant way we could say this. That Eve is a very marketable character that you can build a franchise around. I'm not saying, and this is game one of a franchise, it took Kratos a little bit to pop off. I mean, really, after game one, Kratos popped off, and he was a very notable mascot for PlayStation. But let's wait and see until Stellar Blade comes out. And overall, how the reception is towards Eve, because while she is, uh, let's just say as far as pixels go, uh, fairly well designed, uh, you know, ultimately, you do need to have a good character there as well. I mean, maybe you don't, maybe you don't. Maybe I, maybe I uh, underestimate what the audience really wants in terms of making a character pop off and become popular beyond just, you know, the baseline evaluation. But hopefully there is a compelling character with Eve, and Stellar Blade does have a narrative focus that, so I'm sure they know that it needs to go beyond just the aesthetics to make Eve this character you can build a franchise around. If you're gonna do sequels, if you're gonna do follow-up titles, you need more depth to her, uh, so to speak. But I think what's amazing about it is initially Stellar Blade kind of started off as a meme because of Eve and because of how she looked as a character. And then again, we go back to that trailer that dropped at State of Play, the demo coming out. And people have come to the realization that, holy hell, there's a quality action game that is seemingly here as well. And that's what you need at the end of the day. Look, it's great that Eve is a well-designed character and she is very marketable, so to speak, again. But that's only going to keep you in the game for so long. I am shocked that there are so many people. And this has been in the comments section. I've seen other content creators that I won't name being like, oh, people are only excited about Stellar Blade because of X, Y, and Z. Or they're just like, oh my god, people are excited about Stellar Blade just because of the character. You guys are so immature, blah, blah, blah. This is what's wrong with gaming. And I'm just like, guys, like, bro, the, the, the Eve's look is not going to carry the entire game. It, this game has been revealed for quite a while and the anticipation and the excitement for the game really only ramped up. As someone that has been covering this game for a while on this channel, for me... 
what I noticed out of my channel, my comment section, and the and what I consume in terms of, you know, opinions and whatnot, the excitement for this game really increased once we saw gameplay, once we saw uh, or heard the soundtrack, those elements of the game came together, and then it was like, the character of the game just became kind of funny that like, oh, she's a well-designed character, but wait a second, this game actually looks really good as well. Like, guys, I think, I think you gave the gaming audience way too little credit that they're just gonna, then people spend money on crazy things, I get that, but you're talking about a game that's aiming to sell millions and millions of copies, at least that's what I would think. I think you guys, uh, if you're thinking that, oh my god, people are only excited about this game for the character, sure, I'm not saying the character doesn't help and won't help the sales numbers but ultimately if the game wasn't a well-developed action game and it's not a good action game and let's just say people just crap on it and i am sure that once this game comes out this rhetoric attached to eve as a character and all of those elements like, there's gonna be some wild articles and i feel like there's already wild articles that people in the comment section whenever i talk about stellar, uh, stellar blade seem to point out uh that people bring up but it's just like yo it's a video game we don't have to take this too seriously but at the same time i think you guys give again th this is me standing up for humanity once again to those of you being like stellar blades only getting hyped up because of the character and again it's a small small minority of people that uh maybe they just get attention because they have these wild takes but uh it's a small minority of people but if you really do believe that really i think you're giving like the gaming community too little audience and i think you're giving like playstation as a publisher uh too little credit that in thinking that if you really believe that they think that just because they have a well-designed character like it doesn't need to be a good game like that's not gonna carry them the whole way through it certainly helps and does it make the promotional aspects of the game a little bit easier but it's just that it's a promotional vehicle at best at the end of the day and it's not gonna make or break the game i really don't believe that but nonetheless i get on this diatribe whenever i talk about stellar blade because i feel like it's very relevant and um i think most people are in agreement like yo it's an attractive main character there have been other attractive main characters in the past there have been attractive male characters uh in video games as well like this isn't something that is completely new and i think a lot of the excitement from stellar blade now bleeds from the fact that the game looks good but if you're talking about you have a foundational action rpg that is well made on top of a character that you can expand and almost monetize out of future games and make her into a little bit of a mascot character for your brand you'd be foolish not to take advantage of that that like that is marketing and business 101 and i know nothing about business 101 although i did get an a in business 101 in college now that i think about it so maybe i do know a little bit about business because my uh freshman year college course says i do but nevertheless you guys get the idea it's pretty simple stuff hopefully it does turn out to be a future franchise because if this is shift ups pop off if this gets shift up a lot of notoriety why not let this be the franchise for shift up and who knows where shift up goes right now they are firmly more of a second party studio for sony where sony's publishing this game they're not a first party studio they haven't been acquired by sony but who knows what the future could hold if this game pops off I could certainly see discussions like that happening and a shift up being brought into the fold, but we'll see. Ultimately, you do have to drop a good game come April 26th when Stellar Blade actually releases. I am a little bit, you know, hesitant about the $7 price point. Again, I think this game would kill it to the PC audience. I think this game would crush it on PC, and if it does release on PC like a year or two after, I think it'll do very well. It's just, I am a little bit skeptical on like a year or two delayed releases on $70 games. Like Horizon Forbidden West is doing well on PC, but it's not like it's, you know, crushing it or anything like that. Uh, but we'll see about Stellar Blade. That'll do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below, and let me know what you think about Stellar Blade potentially becoming a franchise and potential sequels. I know it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but I've been talking about this in previous videos that, uh, you know, this could very well be a big franchise. I didn't get that feeling out of, like, Rise of the Ronin. Like, when leading into Rise of the Ronin's release, I'm like, okay, this is a cool open-world action title. Hopefully it's pretty good, but Stellar Blade is the game I'm looking at where I'm like, okay, this could actually parlay into becoming a franchise, and I don't know how it's going to get handled with PlayStation publishing this game. Do they have rights to the franchise? I don't know how any of that jargon works as far as their agreements would shift up, but we'll see how that goes in the future. That'll do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. 
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.